In this video, I'll be sharing for the first time ever the personal statement that got me into medicine at Cambridge as an international student. So keep watching to learn more. Hi and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Wesley and I'm a recent secondary school graduate and Cambridge Medic offer holder. So after my last video on how to write a smashing personal statement, I thought I could make it more clearer by using a specific example. And what better example to use than my own using exactly those tips. Since I applied to medicine, this video will also be more catered towards that. So if this is a subject that you're interested in as well, then you've come to the right place. Disclaimer, I'm not a professional consultant, so everything I share in this video will be from my own experience. Plus, for privacy reasons, I'll only be sharing modified segments from my personal statement in this video. And please note that this is all copyrighted and new kids will automatically pick up anything that it deems as plagiarism. So just be aware. And now that that's out of the way, let's begin. My first main draft, however, used the academia, extracurricular and subject passion format. But after discussing that with my mentor, I then used point form to build a thematic style and then slowly build up the content from that point on. And for me, I picked out some of my favorite diseases and aspects of medicine, as well as some relevant experiences. Then that version became overly long as expected. But after some advice and tweaking it six more times over three months, I finally got my final draft. My introduction mainly outlined my passion for medicine and it reads as follows. I have always been interested in medical research. The idea of improving patients' quality of life with the help of scientific knowledge has defined my aspiration. I couldn't find just one moment in my life that drew me towards medicine, so I didn't use a lot of words to describe such an event. Instead, you can see that it's just one sentence that's direct, to the point, yet still passionate and specific. For the purpose of this video, I've only included one body paragraph, but it should be more than enough to demonstrate what a good body paragraph should look like. Now for this paragraph, the parts that I've highlighted means that they're modified. And I did that because you should know that it included more detail and specificity in the original. An example to illustrate the above would be Alzheimer's disease. Seeing the global phenomenon of aging population and the growing prevalence of Alzheimer's has led me to attend a talk about nationwide Alzheimer's research. This led me to read further into a paper regarding rate determining factors affecting symptom onset. This shows that we still have plenty to understand and excited my anticipation for future research advancements. I further learned about a clinical exam in a psychiatry workshop. While developing empathetic listening skills during school peer counseling team training. As a sharing professor mentioned in a physician's sharing webinar I attended, it is vital for physicians to understand others points of view when making decisions. This has served as great inspiration and reminder for me. That was the body paragraph that directly followed the introduction. So you can see how I started that off with a disease that intrigues me. I talked about how the common knowledge of the aging population led to my awareness and interest in Alzheimer's and immediately followed up with an example of a talk that I intended. And that shows the steps that I took to further my interest and also demonstrates my scientific inquisitiveness as mentioned in the introduction. I then followed up on that using a specific research paper that I read regarding the topic that led to inspiration and anticipation for the field and possibly my future career. I actually went into quite a bit of detail in my actual personal statement, which goes to show how being specific leads to more persuasive writing. As you might be able to see, I put in a bit more emphasis into the academic part of medicine. I went all in and applied to Cambridge because I loved how academically focused they were. Hence, that's naturally made it into my personal statement. But as any good pre-med would know, there's obviously also the practical part of medicine. So I transitioned into the practical aspects related to Alzheimer's by using yet another experience, followed by an extension, and then finally closing with another piece of inspiration. So you can see how that structure is consistent throughout my personal statement. And I'm not sure if you noticed, but at the beginning of the paragraph, I defined a contraction for the term Alzheimer's disease. That's to serve the purpose of lowering my character count in order to fit in more content. However, I don't recommend overusing short forms and contractions as it can make your piece seem unprofessional. Now moving on to the conclusion, my conclusion followed body paragraphs that sort of went through different diseases. And so that this all makes sense, it also briefly touched on the topic of palliative care and death in general. So it reads like this. Although we may not be able to cure all diseases, as Dr. Atul Gawande mentioned in Being Mortal, our ultimate goal after all is not a good death, but a good life to the very end. Being able to enhance others' well-being alone is enough to decide that medicine is for me. As you can see, that's only slightly longer than my introduction. 
and not very long at all. And I would also argue that it not only reads smoothly, but it's also quite passionate and emotional. That's because every bit in it is from what I truly believe in. Like I always say, if you really love your subject, then everything will just come naturally. The first line of the conclusion acknowledges the imperfections in medicine, as I experienced from the other events mentioned in the full personal statement. And then I also added a quote from one of my favorite authors, Dr. Atal Gawande, to put a positive spin on things. And it's also to show the reader that despite its imperfections, medicine is still a subject worth pursuing. Now putting quotes in a personal statement is a bit of a controversial method, but since my whole statement wasn't standard by any means, and I genuinely stand by that quote, plus it helps me get my points across, I decided to put that in anyway. While I hope you enjoyed reading that extract of my personal statement, I also hope that it taught you a bit more about my go-to style of writing. Throughout your personal statement, display your genuine passion for the subject and don't be afraid to go deep and personal and back that up with specific examples. Specificity builds persuasiveness. So show a bit more detail in your writing whenever possible. Finally, make sure to balance out your content in your writing, leave a bit more characters for the main body and ensure that things flow from ignition to follow up and finally with the result in every single body paragraph. So that was my Cambridge Medicine personal statement as an international student. I just want to say good luck to any future applicants to whatever uni and whatever subject. I hope that you stick to your passion and don't be afraid to overcome any obstacles in between. That will help you build a brilliant application and a brilliant personal statement however you choose to write it. I hope you found this useful. If you have any ideas, thoughts or questions then pop in the comments down below. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!